Welcome back to the channel. I'm Never Knowns, and today I'm super excited because today we have. <laughs> Today we have a new video by Depths of Despair titled Five Scary Ghost Videos That Are 100% Real and Sure to Give You the Chills. So as usual, I'll be leaving a link to his video in the description below. So be sure to go over there, give him a click, a subscribe, a, a smiley face, a dot, I don't know, wh whatever we're doing nowadays on YouTube. Do that! Anyways, without further ado, let's get in the mix. All right, let's get it done. Let's get it done. Top five scary things caught on camera. The soldier's cabin. In the backward hills of Virginia lies an old cabin which was owned by Civil War soldiers over a hundred years ago. Oh, it's mine the scene. This is going to be good. Claims there's still a lot of strange activity happening within the cabin, and people who have stayed over have said that they have heard singing voices, have been touched, and have been surrounded by cold air. The owner claims that the spirits residing in the home may be prejudiced since these are supposed spirits from over a hundred years ago. And Man, what's worse than regular ghosts? Racist ghosts. Oh, brutal. And this kind of thing was very common during these times. Oh, now let's take a really? look as our investigators dive into this soldier cabin. Upon investigating the cabin, they noticed nothing strange. Nobody decided that maybe they should change all this? Like, nobody came and said, you know what, we should probably redecorate a little bit because we don't want the racist cabin to be known as the racist cabin in this area. Nobody, nobody spitballed that idea? Strange or paranormal, except for some creepy pictures and dolls that can be found lying around and hanging on walls. However, it is when they go upstairs that things start to get strange, and that is when they hear it. Look at that face. Jeez. The, the Confederate States of America. Oh my god. You know, that's like, that's like, th these photos are like something you'd see in a horror movie, right? Where that, you know, it's like these old, you know, backcountry family members in the photo. But then you realize like halfway through the movie that they, you know, they're still alive by some weird curse. Maybe it's the racist curse. Could be. I don't know. Got the upstairs? Yeah. Oh, that's the route? I think so. Yeah. Watch your head. Yep. Hello. I got nothing on this one. Nothing at all? Nothing. And... Oh, got some camo. Good old boys. This is what I'm talking about. Like, there are people using this cabin. Uh, uh, nobody decided to fix any of this stuff. You know? Maybe, maybe put up a poster of like, I don't know, like Farrah Fawcett over the Confederate State thing? I don't know, it's kind of odd to me. Maybe somebody could explain why that's the case, like why you wouldn't do that. Uh, okay. Look at that. Hmm. Yeah, these people are pretty serious about their old, old Civil War type shit, bro. Colonel Mustard up on the wall. I don't know if that's Colonel Mustard. I'm just saying. <laughs> well, this weird room is weird. Well, at least there's enough beds. Yeah. <laughs> oh, there's another stairwell. Did you see that? I guess we must have missed that when we came in. Oh yeah, I saw that door down there. Okay. Did you hear it? Oh yeah, I saw that door down there. Okay. You hear it? Yeah, I do. I didn't hear it. I heard the tapping, but did you guys hear that low grumble? A tapping noise as well as a low grumble appears to come from down below. 
but as they attempt to go downstairs, something unexplainable happens. Take a look. It sounded like, it's 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 sounded like a big like cargo door opening or something. Oh, chill you out. But where would that be out here in the middle of Just start it up with a spirit box? Yeah. yeah. Run a spirit box downstairs? As like Casey shut on its own? Open the door, something forcibly slams the door shut against his hand. As if this wasn't strange enough, the two investigators then decide it's time to set up the spirit box so Casey remains in the house as Colton goes outside to recover the spirit box from their SUV. And as he's out there, he notices something strange. <laughs> I, I don't know why they're separating. Like, why is that a thing where you're ghost hunting and then you just separate? Is it because you want to make yourself more vulnerable because then that attracts more ghost attention, I'm guessing? Like, like I, I guess you're bait in a way. Sounds like a bad idea. This whole situation sounds like a bad idea. Like if I was Colton, I'd be getting whatever I need and getting back. Hello? After Colton notices what appears to be a person moving in the woods at night, they then decide to explore the woods and see what's out there for themselves. Mm -mm. And I must say, what they find is very disturbing. It seems like it just gets darker and darker back here, even with the flashlights. Oh, it's fucking pitch ass black back here. What's that? Oh, that's great. Another bear sign. How would you I look like you're walking out in the woods like that, like investigating this house, and then all of a sudden you come across a rally, right? Oh, you guys are in cabin twelve, huh? Yeah. Well, oh no, there's no ghosts. We're just recruiting. Everyone keep your eyes closed for real. Ah, that says grizzly. What? Look at that. Look down that. Look at that shit, dude. That's like a tunnel made out of trees. With a grizzly sign next to it. Yeah, man, no. Oh, yeah, it's four. across the whole Oh, man, I think I have a camera. I'm getting freaked fucking in the back. Okay, so do me a favor. What's up? When we walk through here, big sweeps left and big sweeps right so we can see brainy eyes. Yeah, for sure. They stumble across what, what is that? is to be some sort of cultist hideout, and they discover a lot of creepy things here. It's not a cultist hideout! Okay, it's a secret gathering of friends with similar interests, right? Isn't that what they say? What is that? Look, I'm telling you. It's like a fucking shrine. Dude, look. Confederate flag, American flag. Yeah, they ain't messing around. This is somebody's hangout, bro. Skull yeah, dude. Skulls. Yeah. Some yeah. Dogs. That's random. A deer sign. What is this? Bro. Yeah, dude. How weird does that shit get? Yeah. Look at this, dude. Look. There's all sorts of weird trinkets hanging here. 
There's like burnt Barbie dolls. Wait a minute, wait a minute. Wait a minute. Wait, wait, where is this? Is this Canada? Where? Hold up. Hang on, we're gonna back up here. Um, hang on. Cause this up here at the very top right here, that's that's a can of Canadian maple syrup. That's 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 maple syrup from Canada. Just to let you know. So I don't know where this was. I, I forgot where he said they were, but I didn't think they'd be in Canada. But maybe it was shipped there. I don't know. I it's it's just odd that there would be a maple syrup can from Canada with the American flag and Confederate flag. You think they'd be all about American products? Look, there's all sorts of weird trinkets hanging here. There's like burnt Barbie dolls. Whoa, what would the purpose of this be? Looks like some voodoo shit. Man. There's something over there. Here we go. Here we go. Bro, wait, wait, wait. And Look. That's like a little man. Is that a hut? Whoa. Dude, somebody's gonna oh, come out of there. This, what? Look, there's bones right there. That's bones hanging off the entrance. This can't be right. Yeah, man. It's, it's like time to go. Tribal shit, bro. Look at that. That's like a whole skull. Yeah. There's a bone. A little, uh, oh, look, 13 colonies. 13 five. Oh my gosh. And, uh, the cross. After Casey and Colton discover some creepy stuff in the woods, they then decide to head back to the cabin to use their spirit box in a dark and empty room. And that is when one of them is suddenly attacked. Is there something you're trying to warn us about? Oh, what? What? Dude, like what? Like latched onto my hand. Well, I don't know. I thought you jumped. Oh! The, the floorboards. What? Shortly after one of the investigators got bitten, they decided to check the downstairs camera to see if they noticed anything. No. When reviewing the footage, they noticed the door latch moving and coming undone on its own, and no, then the doorknob twisting and the door opening, as if something was leaving the premises. Yeah, dude, he was like, thanks for dinner. You tasted great. Hmm. Soul eating demon out. After the front door opens, they decide to check the outdoor camera to see what it captures, and what they see next is chilling. Now get out of the racist cabin! Why are you still there? You got bit and you're still. Well, there's something there. I don't know what it is. is it, uh, so did Casey and Colton capture some paranormal activity on camera? Or was it all just an elaborate hoax? You be the judge. And you can watch more paranormal investigations on the YouTube channel MindSeed TV. Abandoned Hotel. I watch MindSeed. I've never seen that In one this before. next video, Paranormal Explorer Outdoor Zhao Long visits an abandoned hotel and captures some crazy paranormal activity. shadow figure slowly rising look man look uh, i don't know what possesses people 
to go in there and do this stuff. Maybe it's because people like me like to watch it, I guess, right? I mean, you can consider it a job. But why would you want to do it alone is my question. Like, why would you want to go in there and risk becoming a ghost yourself? Like, I still think that would be awkward. If a ghost kills you and then you're a ghost and then you're just kind of stuck together in this place, it seems kind of awkward conversation afterwards. Like, how long would that take? Like, 50 years before you'd finally acknowledge the dude that killed you? Just leave me alone. I don't want to talk to you. I'm going to go to the cabin. From the toilet and then disappearing back down. And when he goes to check, there's nothing there. No. Hey! What's holding? What's holding you up? Sir! Oh, no. What? What's holding you up? Oh, God. Okay, so here's here's my thing. I usually don't like to debunk things. I usually don't. The the thing that the trick that I've been seeing a lot lately with these cameras and stuff is like when they kick open a door, they immediately pan to like the left or the right. And and what happens is is you pan to the left, like you kick open the door and you pan to the left, the person just runs behind you and then you pan back and it looks empty. Um I, I'm more inclined, like, to make sure that the walls go all the way to the bottom. You know, if you're going to open the door, kick the door open so that, like, we can see the whole thing inside. But this, like, kicking it open and going to the side and then looking back and being like, oh, it's empty. I, I, I don't know about that. I don't know. Maybe I'm wrong. <laughs> Get out of here! Run! 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 You know, I say that like I'm a, I'm a ghost hunter. Like, oh, yeah, yeah, you, you can tell this is a complete amateur. No, I, I'm sure this guy's a professional, okay? I, yeah, he couldn't pay me enough to go in there and do this. What's wrong with you, Mom? No! What's holding? What's holding you out of What? What? Did you hear just move? Uh oh. What's holding you out of Yeah, get out of there, buddy. The ghost is making moves. It's making moves. So did he capture a shadow figure on camera? Or is it just a planned hoax? You can watch more paranormal investigations Look, on the YouTube channel. Regardless, this guy's got a future in the horror genre. Shadow. Make it happen, Captain. Two friends are recording someone who appears to be talking to themselves. What the? However, it is not until they get closer and decide to take a look that they notice what the person is actually talking to. What they saw was more disturbing than they thought and left them completely baffled what? as they had no idea or explanation as to what was going on. What the? Oh, hell no. And she's just talking to it. She's talking to it like it's a child. That, that can't be real, right? Look at, look at her! Mira, 
A strange shadow-like figure can be seen materializing and dematerializing along the corner of the wall. Now I'm not sure if this- Dude, that lady's like, look at this! This mf -er wants to die. Again. She just starts kicking the wall! This is just due to the lighting, or if there is some sort of apparition that lies there. But I'll let you guys decide. If you have any video recommendations, you can send them over at Depths of Despair. What, what is that? Is that, that, that was that like a lighting oh, issue? A shot? Like intense what? Intense activity. In this next video, D. Doc McCall experiences some intense paranormal activity as he explores yet another abandoned site. Wait, is this the same guy or a different guy? Oh, I know this guy. This guy's the glove guy. The hand. Oh, I know this guy. This guy's the glove guy. This guy's Picking up the laundry. Kujo, what are you No, that ice chest isn't going to move, is it? Did you see He's giving the ghost a cigarette? Huh? Huh? What? See, here's the thing. I've seen this guy before. And, and, and you can look at one of the other reaction videos. I don't think this stuff is real. It's good, though. Like, it's scary. But I remember I found a guy, like, moving a telephone with, like, his finger. Uh, you could see him, like, kind of moving it. Like, he was trying to keep the cam his finger out of it, but he kind of got it a couple of times. But it's still good. It doesn't mean, like, he can't enjoy it. Um, but it's really hard for me to believe that it's real. But it's good. Like I say, a lot of these guys have futures in, like, the genre, like the horror genre. That door is gonna slam. Okay. Okay, so, he, some crazy paranormal. so I guess like he, he, in order to like walk around in different places, he has to sacrifice a cigarette or donate a cigarette. I'm guessing. 
Is that like sage? Is that like smudging? Only with Marlboro, <laughs> Marlboro smudging? Activity caught on camera, or did D-Doc just plan this out very well? You can watch more investigations on the YouTube channel, D-Doc Nicole. Here we go, it lurks. Just what made this whole group run away? Hey, <laughs> Is it going to be a jump scare? Find out what led to this moment right now. Přátelé, v tohle lese se stávaly takový paranormální jevy, co jsme tak jako zjistili od pana Radka, to je vlastně ten myslivec. Tak. Radek myslivec. <laughs> Takže všichni do komentářů, díky Radku. A v podstatě jde o to, že tady... Uh, řekni to s tím listím. Vždyče mýho spirit boxu, který jsme použili před chvilku na tom posedu, to tady vůbec zkoušet nebudem, protože... Vím příběh o jedných klucích, kteří taky psali na Facebooku, zkoušeli to tady. Nejdřív ten přístroj začal šílet, že to šlo do těch mrazivých hodnot, fakt šlo to hned na minus pět. A šlo to čím dál tím dál, že jo, měli podobný přístroj. S tím, že tenhle ten duch, který se pak na ně nalepil, byl zlej, nebyl to jeden z těch dobrých, takže pak jako by bylo to dost fatální. S tím, že myslím, že jeden ten kluk se dokonce kvůli tomu zabil. A... Kámo, kámo, já jsem to taky slyšel. Co tam bylo? Co tam bylo? Co tam bylo? Is it Bigfoot? We got Bigfoot! Point, when the guys are talking to the camera, one of them turns around and notices something. A big black figure hovering across the woods and disappearing slowly It's like floating, the right? Like... This causes the group to run out of sheer fear. It appears as though something was following them the whole time. That's so did they capture some creature or something creepy. on camera? That's pretty good. Will you be the judge. You can watch more of their videos on their YouTube channel, TV Twix. That's all for today, guys. But if you like this video, subscribe and hit that wow. bell icon so that you never miss an upload. And with that being said, you can follow the original Depths of Despair on Instagram, TikTok, and Twitter. See you next time, guys. Well, thank you, Depths of Despair. Oh, it looks like my hair is a little... A little possessed itself. Thank you again to Depths of Despair for the video. I know it's one of its older videos, but, you know, it's stuff I haven't seen before, so I'm going to enjoy it anyways. Anyways, uh, link in the description below to go over to his website. Uh, give him a like, a thumbs up, a subscribe, a happy face, a fist bump. I don't know. Do something. Help him out. And if you like this video, please uh, click subscribe and a thumbs up as well. So until next time, I'll see you when I see you. So see ya. Yeah.